Morning, beautiful people. So today, um, for our devotional, I wanted to talk about confidence and I suppose what confidence means to me personally and you know, and how I sort of draw confidence from God um, and how I allow that to sort of affect my day-to-day decision-making. Um, so confidence, what is it? So, you know, the dictionary says it's a feeling or belief that one can have faith in or rely on someone or something. Another definition is firmly trusting, bold, or to have full trust or reliance. So to me, that's what confidence means when you're looking at confidence in God. So give you one of my favourite Bible verses. And this pretty much gets me stirred up all the time. It kind of rallies my heart and soul, fills me with confidence. um, And it gives me the knowledge that I can basically tackle any challenge that comes my way. Um, And it comes from 1 Samuel 17.45. And I'll read it to you. So David said to the Philistine, you come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. And this is the verse that shouts at me when I think about confidence and when I feel like I need some confidence. It's what I think about when I'm in a challenging situation. And you'll notice it it doesn't speak of self-confidence. And that's not what I'm referring to when I talk about the word confidence. It's about having confidence um, in God and having that confidence that David had in God, the belief or the faith that David had when he was facing the giant. Um, Now, we all have fears. We all face challenges from time to time. And we might end up in situations facing seemingly insurmountable odds. But as children of God, we have a choice in every situation that we face. Um, you know, we can we can back down, we can let the situation control us, but God doesn't want us to be slaves to fear, he doesn't want us to live this way. We can go it alone, try and solve the situation on our own, and from time to time that might work, but it's only going to get us so far. Last one, we can just step out in confidence, step out in faith under the banner of God, and we can tackle the challenge head on, knowing that whatever the outcome, God's got our back. David did the latter, you know, in in comparison to Goliath, scrawny young man, runt of a boy, um, and just a servant of the king. But he stood up and said to the king, don't worry, I've got this because my God's got this. And that confidence came out of David. It was passed on to the king and David was so confident that the king was confident that David had this situation under control. Um. Bringing it sort of to the New Testament, Mark 11, 22, 24, Jesus said, Have faith in God, I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. So David had that kind of faith in the Lord. And he went and tackled Goliath head on. And he delivered the entire Philistine army into the hands of Israel. He killed one man, delivered an entire army and saved probably tens of thousands of lives in the process. It's it's crazy to think that that's possible to do that. And that, you know, but with God, anything is possible. You know, David didn't try to be something that he wasn't. He refused the armour of the king. It was uncomfortable, slowed him down, took away his God-given talents, his agility. um, And he went into that fight just wearing the armour of God. And he never stood a chance of of losing. Not not a chance. He knew wholeheartedly he was going to win. Confidence in himself? No. Confidence in the Lord? Absolutely. So God offers to do the same for you. Um, Jesus says it in Mark 11 in the verse I've just read. And if you operate under the banner of God, if you have complete belief that he can deliver what you ask for, then it'll be done. As long as it's done in his name and for righteousness sake, um, and you truly believe it, he can do it for you. Nothing can defeat you if you've got complete faith that what you're doing is for righteousness sake. God's got you covered regardless of the challenge. David faced insurmountable odds but triumphed, not because of his own abilities, but because he knew and understood God's ability. So what I say to you today is tackle your challenges head on with confidence and just say, I come at you in the name of the Lord Almighty and you can do anything.
Have a great day, church. I'll speak to you soon.